Hey peeps! Guess what today is? Fashion Friday! Are you excited, Fab? Yes! <laughs> what are we talking about today? And you know, really, what is Fashion Friday going to be going forward? By the way, aren't these cute? Ooh. Ooh! I just got these from a fan. She makes them. Aren't they the cutest? Oh, to die for. She wanted to know if, what my favorite color was. I said blue. So look at these cute. She blings them out. Nikes. So cute. Can't wait to do a photo shoot in them. Want to have a matching mask. Yeah. <laughs> Um, today we're going to look at my shoe collection. You're like, something's different about her. What's different? My hair. Like, look. Look at my, <laughs> look at my little tiny bun. So, you know, during the coronavirus, a lot of things that we took for granted before, we're having to deal with now. That, it, you know, it's like, so, you know, you guys know I've always, I've always worn Bellamy hair. So I can't get to LA to get my extensions redone. Of course, that's where I get mine done. There's a Bellamy here, but they don't specialize in the K-tips like this lady does in LA. So anyways, can't get to LA. Um, of course, she's not even open. So we took out my extensions yesterday. My hairstylist did. Yes, he made a house call because I had to get the extensions out and I, I don't know how to make them. So he wore his mask. I wore my mask. We, we were fine. But anyways, um, yeah, so I, I'm going to have like my Bellamy ponytails and my Bellamy clip-ins now for the next couple months till we figure out what's gonna happen with this coronavirus. So, but anyways, um, kinda wanted to show you guys my shoe collection. So, a lot of you have seen a lot of different videos in the closet, so you've kinda caught glimpses of my shoe collections. But, um, I have, I, you know, a Fab and I were sitting here wondering today, will, will there ever be an event that I get to go to <laughs> where I wear, where I dress up again, right? I know. You know, I mean like galas and charity events and meet and greets and drag con, you know, you're just like, we don't know what the, what the new normal is gonna be, exactly. right? We don't know whether there'll be large gatherings. We don't know, it's just like, right now we're kind of just sitting here. We don't know. So like this outfit I have on today is yes. the new normal. <laughs> Funny. This is the new normal, guys. You know, it's like... Who are you wearing? Yeah. <laughs> Lululemon. <laughs> but this is kind of like the new normal now. We're all in workout clothes and sweats because there's really no reason to dress up, right? Exactly. I, I can't remember last time I had a pair of shoes on. You know, some of these are brand new, Fab, and I haven't even worn them yet. <laughs> you know? Remember when we went and bought these at that store? Yes. Look at that. Every woman needs a black dress. Isn't that cute? They're going to need one that says, every woman needs a mask. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> that great store in the mall, in, in, in the Galleria, Dogo, which is closed right now, of course. Too. <laughs> now, I did hear on the news today, though, that they're talking about maybe opening up some retail stores next Please. Weekend. Please. That's all I asked for. Close the grocery stores. Open up sacks. <laughs> That's what we want. <laughs> yeah, who, who needs groceries? We just need sacks or Neiman's, right? So anyways, guys, um, this kind of area over here is my Christian Louboutin corner, I call it. Uh, I have over 75 pairs of his shoes. Um, just a little area. Huh? Just a little area. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he signs the shoes. I've had dinner with him. Um, so... Love, I love me some good, good, good loop tins. Love them, love them. Um, I have quite a few favorites. Remember when I got these? <gasps> Did you ever wear them? Yes. Look. Oh. People are always like, you don't even wear all your shoes. And I'm like, I can pick them up and show you. I've worn them. <laughs> yes, remember I wore, remember when I wore, I think I was in Orange County and I wore that pink. 
you really did, pretty dress. You did. And it went perfect with these. It was so, so stunning. I think that was the very first time I ever worn them. But anyways, um, got a pair of Dior stuck in here. Got a couple, got a couple odd pairs stuck in here. But um, I do love me Christian Louboutin. I, I really do. I love, love, love. Um, look at these moon views. Like, these are so pretty. See the crystals? Yes. Yes. Yes, I've worn them. <laughs> People are like, you don't even wear all your shoes. Yes, I do. Um, got some Valentinos in here. These are, you, you know, these good old standby Gucci's. Like, have you not seen me wear these a million times? Here you go, your money's worth. I mean, I love these Gucci's. They go with everything. They really do. They're badass when you want them to be badass, and they're subtle when you want them to be subtle. Like, I've worn the hell out of those things. Um, well, of course, a lot of you have never heard of Donald Pliner. He was around forever, years and years and years and years. Uh, of course, signs, signs the shoes. They're all signed too. I don't even know if you can find Donald Pliner anymore. I don't know. Look, at, it's like a tractor sole, tractor tire. Yeah, I never heard of him until I started seeing your shoe collection. Uh -huh. And he makes like the coolest designs, like very right? unique. Right, right. Like this pair, look at, look at the red heel. Yeah. That beautiful red leather heel. Look at the tractor sole. Look at it's like rough and tough. Mm -hmm. But you don't slip and fall, I'm telling you that much. I love boots. I have so many pairs of boots. Remember when I had to get this top pair of Tom Ford boots? Oh my god. Had to have them. Because they matched the dress that had the zipper that went down the back. So yes. I had to so I had to get the isn't that cute how it goes over the heel like that? The iconic. Cute. But I had to have these because they they went with that dress that had the zipper that went down the back too. Really, really cool Tom Ford boots. Really cool. But anyways, um, Fab, you had a really good question for me today, didn't you? I had a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, it had to do with makeup, didn't it? <laughs> yes, it did. Yeah. So Fab said to me today, he said, what's, what's going to happen with the makeup industry if we, you know, like, he's like, I'm a, I'm a beauty influencer and you know, how am I going to grow? And I'm like, don't know, like, none of us, <laughs> right? But none of us know, like we were just discussing, you know, the new normal is because <laughs> we, we can't go anywhere. Hopefully we're going to open up, you know, one of these days, but, but we, we started talking about that today. We were like, what's the new normal that we have to wear a mask for the next few months, six months, year, two years. We don't know. And if we do, are we really going to be investing in makeup that much anymore? Less lipstick. Way less lipstick. And who's really going to want to go to the extent of putting all that foundation on when you're going to have a mask, rubbing it off and everything. So then we're like, really all that we're going to be able to see is eyes. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God you can still see my pretty eyeshadow. No, no, but I'm just like, you know, will brides be walking down the aisle with... Now that one tricked me out. Beautiful lace masks <laughs> to go with their dresses. You know, I'm like, you know, we have to wonder what's going to be the new norm and and you brought up a good point today because we we're like you know what will what will happen with the beauty industry i gotta pick a different profession <laughs> <laughs> so oh my god so, so remember when we picked these out oh yes, yes. this is these, these are from that company uh ego ego yes you saw that they had the tall ones that uh -huh. went clear up to the thigh and I said, nah, I've got enough thigh high boots. I'm going to get the, the lower ones. And they're, it's like wearing a sock. Like so it's so, pretty. so comfortable. So cool. So cool. And you had just gotten those two before the quarantine. And I haven't been able to wear them yet. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could put them on and wear them around the house. Look, I haven't Perfect. worn them. I have not worn them. You can tell. I have not worn them. I could just walk around the house naked and just put these on. <laughs> Perfect. My husband will be happy. <laughs> and I hadn't worn these yet. Same yes. company. Like, how cool, right? So what I love is I have a mixture of high-end lines mixed in with lower-end lines. Look at these Michael Kors. Haven't even worn them yet. <gasps> Got them right before this happened. Pretty, right? I remember when we went shopping for remember? those. Remember? We went, we didn't even think we were going to buy anything. We walked in and I walked out with what, four or five pairs Literally. of shoes that day? Like they had some great shoes. This pair and uh, the silver right there. This pair, yeah. yeah. Haven't worn either. Haven't worn them. 
These are pre-coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so I, I love all different kinds of shoes. Another great designer, Lucho, here in Houston. Love, love, love his. Oh, yes. I, I have a ton of their shoes. This whole row is his shoes. These are some of his shoes. Like, I love his shoes. Look at these Nicholas Kirkwoods with the, with the pearl. Nice. Isn't that cute? Very, very cute. These Tom Fords. Had to have them. Probably one of the most uncomfortable pair because they they very stiff. So it's like walking like... <laughs> but I love them anyways. Love them anyways. So anyways, guys, we just wanted to kind of like show you kind of my shoe collection. You'll see over here I've got my belt collection. Um, of course, you can clearly see I'm an Hermes lover. Um, but I've also got Louis Vuitton and Chanel and Prada and Gucci over here. Got plenty of them. These are those new slides. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. These are my coronavirus set by. This, <laughs> this has been the only luxury item I've bought while the coronavirus has been happening. So since we've been in quarantine, this is the only thing I've bought so far. I've, I've been pretty good. Yeah, but I'm yeah. thinking about getting the Neverfull that yeah. goes... You these. have to, you have to. It's so pretty, or at least the little clutch, something because it's so you. Oh, it's, it's my favorite color. Um, and then on this side of the room, if you can see, um, these are kind of more my lighter colored shoes. Um, I call them kind of the spring and summer collections over here. Um, these are the Michael Kors too, aren't they? No, these are Steve Madden. Yes. These are the Steve Maddens. I did wear these one oh. time. Remember, we were at the FOMO factory. Literally, you bought them and wore them. <laughs> yeah, I bought them and wore them that day. But that's the only time. This was pre-coronavirus too. <laughs> remember, remember the Tweety uh, Boots? I did, the, I did these that day too. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, we did these that day in the, at the FOMO factory too. Hey peeps. <laughs> so cute. Y'all remember when I bought the Louis Vuitton? Oh, I just recently, and I don't, I don't know what made me buy them. I guess we're in the middle of winter. It was December, I think. Uh huh. The Gucci boots up there. Oh, did you ever get to wear them? I think I wore them one day for a photo shoot here. Mm -hmm. With oh, I think we had a collaboration with Nate Scott Keys or uh -huh. somebody like that. And look at these badass. Yeah. Yes, Bezunati. Oh my gosh, look at that. So sexy. I think I've worn them once. One time. One time is it. Roberto Cavalli. I think I've worn like a couple times. Really cute. Well, maybe more than a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I lost my memory there. Manolo? Ah, yeah, I think I've worn them one time. They saw, he signed them. So cute. But I don't. I think I've only worn them like one time because they just remind me of a bedroom mm -hmm. slipper, right? Just so sexy. I think I've only worn them one time. But um, my Dolce and Gabbana line up here. More boots, cute, just just a nice mixture. You know, this this designer, Jessica Rich out of LA. Oh yeah. She's got some great shoes, great shoes. Love her shoes too. Love them with the, all the see-through on it. What's it called? PVC. Is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a PVC clear plastic <laughs> something. <laughs> okay, Pat. <Beth. laughs> And I love the Lucite heels. Love yes. these. So, you know, but are we ever going to need to wear them again? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it make you wonder, though, you know? But I think if you sit and worry about it and think about it, it just drives you crazy. Like, it does. Oh, here was that other pair. These were from Ego, too, right? <gasps> Forgot about those. I think these were the Ego. Never worn? <laughs> <laughs> it was pre-coronavirus. <laughs> what are you going to do? You know, since the coronavirus hit, there's been no reason to dress up. Oh. Where are you going to go? Did you ever wear those white uh, furry ones up there? No. Oh. And those are ego too. Those were going to be such a cute moment. I've got a lot of cute moments lined up for a lot of these <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to have to start doing photo shoots here at the house for no reason. That would be fine. But yeah, these were so cute. Remember, uh -huh. I had to get them because we just said, oh my God, the photo shoot's going to be to die for. To die for. But some of these shoes I've had forever. Like forever. Look at these. 
Brian Atwood. Yes. I'm going to tell you, I bet these are 10 years old. Yeah, they're pretty iconic. I think I got them when I was Mrs. Texas. But I haven't worn... I mean, I've worn them. You can tell. I've yeah. worn the hell out of them. But they just are so... One of those fun pairs. Ooh. The tractor sole. Bono Pliner. So anyways, guys, we just kind of wanted to give you a little glimpse of... of uh, Jimmy Choo. Oh, those are hot. I've never seen those. I know. I don't think I've even worn these since I've... I mean, I've worn them. You can tell I've worn them. But I think they're about 10 years old, too. Like, sometimes I get a pair of shoes that I just can't get rid of. Like, I just like them. You know? Those are hot. And even though I don't wear them a lot, I just can't seem to get rid of them. Make, better make that announcement now. We are going to start... Oh, remember all the... Remember the... the <gasps> oh, oh, yes. Those are so fun. Yes. Oh, but weren't those... Were those Lucho? No. Yeah, Lucho. I think it was Lucho. Or Donald. I think they're Lucho. Yeah. It's when he did his his fluorescent. And I had to have them for summer. Which, are we going to wear them this summer? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next summer. But, um, yeah. So, we are going to add to my website, TeresaRomer.com. Shopping in the world's largest closet. Yes. So we are going to be able to start putting items from the closet, including hardly worn shoes, um, on the website to sell. So you'll be able to buy a pair of Teresa Romer shoes or a Teresa Romer outfit or whatever at extremely discounted prices. Yes. So we're going to be working on that this coming month. So stay tuned for that too, right? I'm definitely going to be looking out for that one. Yes. So, yeah. So, I, I love shoes. I, I can't get enough. I've got all my slides. I've got Tory Burch over here. I've got Hermes. I've got Gucci. I just, Lord. That's because you didn't even go over there. Huh? That's because you didn't even go over there. <laughs> right. You have shoes everywhere. There's, there's more over there. And yes, there's still shoes over here. <laughs> So you got everything from these, from these kick-ass Chanel boots yes. that you've seen me in a couple times to my LV boots, so cute, to Fendi, to more Louis Vuitton, to Hermes. I mean, I got stuff everywhere, guys. Oh, I think these are those Charlotte Olympia. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you worn those? Uh, yeah. Oh, I was like, they look new. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, guys, we just kind of wanted to take today to kind of show you my shoe collection, um, talk to you a little bit about what's 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 going to be the new norm, guys. Fab. I don't know. <laughs> He's like, are we? Are it we feels gonna... like a dream. It does. I it really does, wanted guys. to just. I just want to snap um, out of it. But just remember, guys, it's not going to go away. It's not going to just all of a sudden disappear one day. So we're, we're going to have to figure this out. We're going to have to figure out how to navigate what our new normal is going to be. Yeah. So just hang in there, guys. Keep your social distancing. Keep washing your hands. Make sure you have a mask and some gloves with you in case it's required or whatever. Um, but it sounds like this next week we can look forward. It sounds like today some of the beaches are opening up in Florida. So I, th I think the parks are starting to open back up so that people can get out and exercise and, you know, work on their mental health, get outside. So just, you know, keep your chin up, guys. We don't know what the new normal is going to be yet. We're learning more and more every single day. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Gave you a little peek of my shoe collection. Um, I didn't really go into huge detail with them, but ho hopefully you saw it. Right, Fab? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you all have a great weekend. Oh, and by the way, we have to announce the winner. Yes. Who's winning that $300 that Rich Lux gave me to give to you? Let's find out. So, guys, we are going to announce the winner of the $300 that Rich Lux gave me to give to you guys. So, we randomly picked a person. She's on YouTube, and her name is Elizabeth Wilson. Elizabeth Wilson. 
So we will be reaching out to you, Elizabeth, to get your payment information so we can send you the $300. And I think we should do a giveaway next week. Yay! I think we should pick 10 people to give $100 each to. Nice! What do you think? Love it. Everybody can use 100 bucks, right? Oh yeah. So that'll give you guys something to look forward to next Monday. So you need to watch Motivational Monday's video for the new giveaway, which will happen next week. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we love helping people. So with that said, guys, I hope you have an amazing weekend. Stay safe. Do not gather in large crowds. You guys did great through Easter. Let's keep it going. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. And hopefully next time we do a video, I'll have my clip-in extensions in or my clip-in ponytail or something <laughs> instead of this. <laughs> this lazy look, right? But it's kind of been the new normal, right? I wanted to feel right at home with you guys. Because <laughs> I know you're all sitting at home in your workout clothes and your sweats too, or your pajamas. So anyways, guys, until next time, bye-bye.